What's up everyone? Welcome back to Zelda Speedruns and welcome back to match number two for today. The loser of this goes home, sadly, as we make it into loser's brackets. So yesterday we already said goodbye to one racer. Today one of them will follow. Who will it be? Will it be HXC Jetters or will it be Lin Lin Lin? I guess it's time to find out, so let's switch over to the layout, mute the music first. And let's say hi to the commentators for today, to Hamster and to Allison. Hey. Hey, yo. Hello. Welcome for your uh, second tour of duty today, Hamster. Hey, yeah, we have yo. a scene that's slightly less awful than. Yeah, I, I hope <laughs> this one isn't three hours as well. Uh, just for my sanity. Looks like they're uh, getting set up. I was say no one's readied up in the race room yet, so we at least have 10 seconds or so. We'll see. Oh, uh, we've got Lynn using the uh, What's Her Bucket sprite from Secret of Mana. Uh, and Jedder's using the Magus sprite, which is the sprite that I wanted to use. Uh, and then it came out, and I was very underwhelmed by how it felt. Prim, there we go. Definitely played Secret of Mana. I've only seen it, so I have no idea how they're called. I mean, I've, I've played the sequel. The sequel's fantastic. You but have I never... not played Secret of Mana, Ham? Uh, I haven't Dude, played, like, he, any he of the old... He 2D games. Please don't get into this. I cannot I, discuss yeah. this rationally. People, people, I haven't played people, any of the old NES games, like... People have Chrono been Trigger shot for less back in the day. I know. He I won't know. play Chrono Trigger. Do not even get me started on this. <laughs> well, in comparison to Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger sucks balls, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving the broadcast in Newcaster. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Secret of Mana is the best game ever made. Uh, uh, I, I mean, don't know. Second Densitude 3 is fucking... is really awesome. <laughs> uh, which is why I'm super excited for what we saw in the, uh... E3 presentation this week. I got yeah. it. We finally get an yeah. English release. Yeah, I got it. Right. I never uh, finished Chrono Trigger because when it came out, I was like, I don't know, like four. All right, uh, Jedders is ready, and so I assume we're gonna get going here in a little bit. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> but if not, everybody, make sure to blame Lin. May his karma be smited for all of this. But yeah, Alice, how do you feel about Secret of Mana in comparison to Chrono Trigger? <laughs> um, how, how do you feel about people who haven't played either? Okay, I'm okay with people who haven't played either, as long as they're willing to realize that they've made mistakes in their life and look to fix them. Like, I'm super jealous of people who haven't played Chrono Trigger. They get to experience the game for the first time. Or oh, they're like me and just won't play it. Because no time. You know? Chrono Trigger is like a big time investment. No, it's not. I did it in one sitting. All right, and uh, we're going off right now. Uh, and so we will, in the next 30 seconds or so, see the runners start going. As I recall the 30 second delay that the casters are on, comparatively. Yep, should be going soon. As always, interesting to see what the runners uh, choose for their opening routes. Yeah, I think Lynn is in the fake flipper to potion shop crowd, if I remember correctly. Yep. I know a lot of the people I run with a lot tend to do that. As Let's we get see where Magus goes. A tiny Magus. bit of love. Jedders. And uh, Jedders is heading straight towards what looks like Kakariko in the bomb bushes there. Uh -huh. As Lynn is trying to get his bearing on the fake flipper and gets to that second try. Ooh, and we Ooh. see an eight drop from the blue guard, so Jedders is 
well equipped now. Uh, that speeds up the soul process. <laughs> yup. And so Jedders is going to head right into CAC as Lynn gets our first look at the potion shop, which is Sarshala, as we now see that Turtle Rock is going to be the green pendant. Uh, a little bit frustrating place to find is the first building, since he's going to have to go back there. Yeah. Um, but always interesting to see that Turtle Rock is the green pendant. The Smith's in a super convenient spot this time. And the Hyrule Castle front entrance as well over there, so... And the Hookshot Cave, so two connectors. Yeah, lots of uh, nice stuff that uh, Jitters has found already. As Lin is kind of struggling with that second part of the fake flipper to check the uh, useless fairy drop down. Doing that one from right to left is just, for some reason, god awful. Really? I always find that much easier than the one from uh, the first one. I don't know. And... Oops. That is a vanilla useless fairy. Rip. And the well in the bed drop down. And another connector. Jesus. In spectacular rock. Jedders is just gonna go straight up and see what he finds as Lin finishes his panning. His hook shot. That's a very, very nice thing to find right at the start, as we see that Misery Meyer is gonna be a connector from here. Uh, so Lin's gonna head up to the Hyrule Castle area, so we'll get a first look at this drop down. Um, but yeah, definitely with that Hookshot Cave already being there, finding that Hookshot so early is a uh, really nice pickup. Unfortunately, potentially uh, wasting the hover practicing that Jedders was doing before the seed. For those of us who got to see a stream before the race started. Tree pull for Linden, small magic drops. We'll um, see if he might be grabbing that? I would expect he'll probably grab that, though. Yeah. I would also understand someone not grabbing it, but usually you'll see that people value this information as Lin might be about to pick up eight bombs if he gets lucky on one of these drops. Yep, yep. and there it is. Lumay Lin Hookshot Cave. Useless compass. And Lin opts to Blippers. not pick up the map, so that's going to be an unknown crystal dungeon for him as he checks out Sank now. Oh, well, might also just be, I don't know, Hyrule Castle map or something, so... Yeah, it, it might not I be. I can see the gamble. If All Sank right. up at Lumberjack, hmm, that's always a bit... A bit oh, scary. Did you, did you catch what was in the library there on Lin's screen? Uh, just 10 arrows. Alright, so library is dead. As Jedders is going to make this plunge into eastern here. Uh, always kind of a hard question to decide when you find a dungeon like this early on. Do I go in or do I delete in the hope that I can manage to one-trip it later on in the seed? Oh, that's the other end of course, okay. <laughs> Convenient, I guess? Maybe. By which I mean mostly useless. I think this in Lost Woods here is the second to last drop down that we have. Oh, there's Ganon. All right. So, not below the pyramid. Yeah, pretty sure we're missing Lost Woods, the bed, and the uncle. Yep. For all lost so, one's three. in Sanctuary, one's in. There's going to be at least one item under the pyramid, is what we're one in the Yeah, one in the well, and one under the pyramid. As Lin finds the C-shaped house, always a good shop to find early and not three hours into your multi-world with someone else's Moon Pearl Megawatt. Uh... <sighs> I'll say, I definitely tend to be more in the camp of being a little more restrained with dungeon diving and not going into Eastern like the second you find it. On the other hand, that's you a can glove find a glove. That you find. <laughs> Thiefstown in the same spot we had it earlier. The rock near the desert leads to Turtle Rock. As I learned earlier, that's the one on the way there near Gary. Uh, not the... Yeah. That check is not cave. Cave. So far, really nice, generous uh, Sphere Zero, though. Yeah, hookshot lift. Hammer? Yeah. Flippers? That's that's a lot of axes. 
I say, I definitely will say, uh, I was say Big J's mentioned it as a possibility in chat, but Swamp already has to be kind of going into people's minds to a degree with that yeah. loadout. Once they find the stuff that the other one has, for sure. Yeah, and we'll see. Jetters will probably pick that up pretty quickly here. Red mail at six minutes. Okay. Always useful when you're trying to death warp. Uh, thankfully, yeah. the anti fairies here do exactly one damage, so it doesn't matter. But <laughs> could get a little annoying later on in the scene. Yup. We have Paradox a... Cave. Yeah, this that's a good find. And the back of Skullwood's super Woo! loaded. Sphere one. What the hell Which is It's always on? a little scary because when you have that much open, it's very easy to go to the wrong place. Yeah, especially in a 1v1, one one, you just don't know what your opponent does. The other thing I actually see as a very real possibility, in fact, maybe even more of a possibility than Swamp, is they're a fire source away from being able to go pretty deep into Ice Palace, logically even. Yeah. With the hookshot and the strength upgrade and the hammer, all of those are things that you'll see uh, needed to get the right side chest at Ice Palace. So those are two dungeons I'd definitely be wary of if I were one of these runners right now. Let's see if we can find any more dungeons. Oh, Another hey, look. dungeon! Jesus! We have three dungeons in Kaka uh, four dungeons in Kakariko already. Say, and Jetters thinks about making the dip, but decides to pull off. Uh, certainly a play I agree with. I don't like diving mire without. Uh, at least a fire source. Yeah, or the big key, I guess. Oh, also a good point. He can't uh, do Mire 2. Uh, you can do it with Hookshot, can't you? Yeah, he can do Mire 2 with Hookshot. Yeah. Alright, do the. Do the. Wizard Ropes die? From Hookshot? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They do. I know Pokies die, but. Don't think pokies are what you mean there, but uh, uh yeah, yeah, but you, you can know. drop bombs for the popos. popos. And yeah. actually, like it's completable. It's not fun. It's completable. So we'll see if uh, Lin's gonna get his hook shot here, and is in fact gonna head up that way and pick up that hook shot. Hopefully, we'll hold off on doubling back on hook shot cave because he's about to find the other end of it. And Hotel Mario is going to be our potion shop there. Yep. Okay, so that's a lot of value in Keg early on. And nope. I think already one, two, three, four, five connectors they can take, which is pretty crazy. And since Lynn has the hammer, he can go into this well the first time. Oh, yeah. So we'll get a peek at this. Raven was the hammer. Uh, I missed it, so I didn't see. <laughs> I was watching yeah. Dinner's screen, and I didn't even see he had the hammer until I looked at his tracker. Yeah, I didn't oh. catch it oh, early it on either. Okay. Oh, Thurston. Okay. Cool. That's a good place for a hammer. Yeah. So, Jettas will find that as well. Jetter is going to be a little more careful about drop downs here because he hasn't found uh, Ganon and Lost Woods yet. But he's about to find his Thieves Paradox Town and, and Paradox Thieves Cave and Hammer. Jesus. I was saying they're also a uh, Kana Burno away from being able to just go through and do Spike Cave too if they want. Uh, needing magic, of course, but. Yeah. Well, is Burna enough with the slow health, since it drains magic faster than the cape? Uh, the cape drains magic faster than Burna. Really? Thought... Yeah. Oh. The, the, the way the logic plays, uh, it 
specifically, uh, at least in vanilla, and Entrance has its own logic, so I don't know if Spike Cave is any different. I don't know if A is watching. He will probably jump in and correct us if that's the case, but in order to put Spike Cave in logic, you need the cape and something to extend your magic meter, or you need Cane of Earth. Oh, okay. I always thought it, but then again, I mixed them up every goddamn time, so... Yeah, I believe it's possible Very to much right. make it through taking two hearts of damage and running out of your entire magic bar. Yeah, hammer is definitely not required. All of the uh, runners in our last seed would definitely agree with you. Uh, also worth noting, although I don't think it affects Spike Cave, uh, Entrance Randomizer does have concepts of different levels of mana bar extensions, which means you can run into a case where you do something such as uh, Fighter Sword Trinax because you have four bottles. <laughs> I think the main item render does as well, it just doesn't account for difficulty or something, if I recall AA correctly. Oh, Lin also decides to dive Eastern, so he will also get his glove. Yep. So they're going to be good. a pearl away from Dark World access. Yep. And a lot of very intriguing places. Yeah, like this seed can go so crazy now with like so many connectors in Kek alone that they can take. And Jedders is cursing his red mail right now. <laughs> yep. Fire snakes aren't the greatest to chase down for consistent damage. Also, oh, the other thing we could easily see is something like left side GT having Moon Pearl with this loadout. Yeah. That is true. Especially if it's on like Ice Palace Island or something like that uh, on the Queen of Fairies spot. Since the flippers are here early too. Or just below a rock. Lots of options here early on. As Jedders is backtracking now to get his well. Wasn't there really much in there, was there just a GT small, basically? Yeah, I think the well was pretty dead. Which is, I mean, obviously you always sort of get your hopes up for these big loot spots like well, mini Moldom cave, paradox, but obviously there's a total of 216 locations, so. Yup, and I mean, even so, it just everything. knocks items away. Yep. Uh, HM Music, that's the Hyrule Castle key, which is actually going to be relevant in this seed because the Sanctuary is sitting under Aga Tower, or sitting under the Lumberjacks. Yep, so we would need to defeat Aghanim to get into the drop down for the back. So if uh, we find the key, we can just walk there. I also would not be surprised to see one of Linner Jetters, if not both, decide to steal the key from the front and walk to the back. Yeah. With Aga, that's often a possibility. I especially would believe it coming right here as Lin's about to hit uh, his Hyrule Castle entry. Mm -hmm. And since he has a weapon, he might just be going through this. Okay, Jedus now finds Ganon. He hasn't saved and quit, so he doesn't know that Sanctuary is up there in the Lumberjacks. No, but he will which probably is, find out in this which path. Which is kind of why you want to save and quit somewhat early to Sank, just to find out where it is, so you don't walk there unnecessarily. Yeah, it's it's just a useful point to know of, and obviously he's just going to find it here. So True. it's not going to hurt him too much. As Lin's about to pick up his Dreadmail here in Hookshot Cave. Nine minutes behind Jellas, basically losing already. I don't know how you can come back from a deficit like that. Yep. I Integral mean, Jellas has definitely thought about jumping into water at some point this seed, so this is effectively over. <laughs> basically. Uh, Lin is now going to do his race game check. 
Yeah, I don't think I've seen... Has Jellos checked the race game itself, the item? Has it peaked it? I don't it? recall him doing that. I don't think so either. Oh, looks like Jellos is taking the way south, since he can lift the rock here and maybe wants to find out about the last drop down. I didn't catch it on Linland's end now, I'm an Ingus. And yeah, he is going into a Hyrule Castle. Oh, sick kid. Hello. He and will uh, have to visit that one again. <laughs> yes, he will. And uh, thank you, Arugula, for the sub to ZSR. I know you're more of a uh, Ocarina person, but I'm glad you're dropping in and tuning in. Now we'll know what's on the Ganon. The uncle is here, which is... Well, they had a glove anyways, but... So the bat is on our pyramid today. Which is not the greatest. Uh, always a scary one. Yeah, it's just one dumb one-off that even has a requirement, like, ugh. Or if you're uh, really, really feeling bold, uh, the stupidest thing I've ever done in Cross Keys was do a pendant so I could pull pedestal for mushroom so I could fake powder in uh, <laughs> the powder under Ganon's tower. And I nobody will be surprised to find out that it did not pay off. Is Lin and... gonna steal this? He's yes, saving he pudding is. at least. Okay. He also found the Thief's Town small key in Logic in the first chest. So that's interesting since they have the hammer and the small key, so once they find the big key, they can just full clear Thieves' Town, which is always nice. Yeah, always really nice to be in that position 18 minutes into the scene. Yeah. Those fetch quest keys can just be so annoying. Yeah, it's and it's. I, I mean, early. I think the more you run these modes, the more cautious you get about items like the Swamp Big or especially the Ice Big and the Thieves' Small. Because you really want to do those dungeons if you can. At the same time, you really don't want to leave something behind there. The dam is vanilla, I guess, today. Well, I've been seeing a lot of dam and swamp palace in either the dam or swamp palace entrance recently. Yeah. Uh, so Let me just to take this take drop, drop down. down. See, no scanner isn't here. And wishes he hadn't taken the drop down. Then again, I think, yeah, he's he has seen all other drop downs, so he should have known it's either Uncle or Bat, so he should have just face checked Stank. Oh, so speaking of those fetch quest keys, there's the uh, Ice Palace key in the dam. <laughs> nice. This looks As like our data stunt is watching this crying. Looks like our stunt prize is, um, okay, it's the front entrance that we got into that. And shovel and shield in <laughs> Firelock Mire, okay. That's tremendously unhelpful. I guess yeah. if you find the shovel, you can skip the cutscene chest, because unlike normal rando, those are actually randomized in the order, so there is no way to consistently know which one is which. As Lynn is now going to come back here and visit the uh, Kakariko Village Elder. Yep. See, I played an NMG sometimes. I know who these people are. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that dude by the eastern area. The dude that gives you boots, that's the important part. Exactly! Oh, Please don't look at my NMG time, it's really bad. We find a fairy ascension cave on Jero's end, and he'll take it. Yeah, not a bad one to take when you find it. Uh, as Lin and finds leads the... him to the exact same spot in the dark world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's an interesting Dark World portal, as Jedders is going to take the form of Alphador here and walk a little bit around the Mire area. Not that Homsta knows who Alphador is. No idea. Oh, sadly can't grab this one. Yup. I don't know if it's possible to lure an enemy there to super bunny you in from there, but either way, it's not going to be worth your time to do. And just to use this one. What was Meyer even? Uh, Meyer is a bumbles. connector. No, no, I mean, um, which medallion? Sorry. Apparently, oh, Bombos, according to our tracker. I'm gonna trust the trackers because they agree with what I thought. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, that's, that's awesome. a hint for chest game building. Yep, and I think that's the rat building? Maybe? Ah, uh, yes, the restock room is the rat building. Yeah. We see a sword on Hylia Island. And I uh, think it's off to eastern area for both of them. Yeah, not a uh, ton left for either one. Lynn obviously could go through Hyrule Castle and check out the back, but it would be a reasonable size sequence break right now, missing both the logical key and the lamp. Yeah, we we still have a bit open thanks to the flippers, and obviously a lot of connectors already. So we'll see how this goes. Looks like Jadas is using the flippers immediately. Going off to Hobo. While Lin makes... Oh, that's uh, not the greatest save and quit spot, I gotta say. No. It's only kind of useful if there's something in one of these two or in the pot area. At least to get you a really nice, easy Dark World connector once you have uh, the pearl. That's true, yeah. Damn it! No, I didn't catch what Mega what uh, what Jadas found. Mega what? Uh, I'm gonna guess it's mitts because he has mitts now, according to our tracker. Oh, Obo with the mitts. So that's very intriguing right now. Uh, doesn't e really Ooh. do anything yet. Spiral cave in Eastern. Ooh. Uh, that's a solid. I'm gonna rate that a solid monk S out of ten. <laughs> yep. I think Lin will follow it, just checking Zarsa first, or Zarsa's hut. Yeah, That's although, I th shop. think he has one entrance he hasn't, uh, or actually no, did he check? Nah, the... he went south first. Okay, he went south first, cool, never mind that. Yeah. He was obviously hoping to just save and quit here at Zarsa's hut. Yeah. Let's see. We find... Bumper ledge, which we could hookshot, a uh, bumper cave, which we could hookshot through on the south shore. Was it the back of desert in the left entrance on the south shore? Uh, I'll fully admit I was making bad memes about calculus in Twitch chat, so I missed it. <laughs> uh, but dropping down Spiral Cave, we get the all-not-that-important Ganon's Tower small key. Yay. Although at least having two means that okay, yeah. if you have all the items in the right order, you can full clear in a single go. Uh, more likely we will see that. Ooh. The exit of Spiral Cave leads us to Death Mountain, though. That's... Not the access. I mean, as long as you're there, it's okay, but that's not the access you want, as uh, Jetters finds an unwanted uh, gift in the GT in Skullwood's big key. <laughs> Interesting house. I think Lin is rescuing the old man if I see this right. Uh, yep. I don't have his audio, so I can't hear to verify that that's where he ended up in, but... I know Lin is, it looks like he's on the right side of the last screen and is just coming back now. Uh, yes, Fiddle Ninja, hookshotting the back of the bumper can be logically expected by this. As Jedders is going to make the play up in an effort to Super Omega Orphan King Zora. Yep, he does not have enough money. But perhaps he'll find a blind hut or something back here that'll toss him a bunch of money. Unlucky. It's always fun when you learn a new mechanic that's in logic in this. Uh, I definitely had a seed that I didn't realize could logically expect that hookshot into bumper until I got stuck by it, and now I will never forget it. As she Jenner's just immediately is leaving. Uh, the Zora Ledge item is a flat Zilcho. Hmm. 
Maya Small up on Death Mountain. Probably the least exciting small key you can find in the game, I would say. Yeah, yeah. They're all right, just for a bit of speed up, but eh. And a ooh fire out from the chest when I game up on Death Mountain. I assume Lin will hookshot over. Uh, I would be shocked if he doesn't after doing this. Uh, looks like he realized, yeah. Opts against the Dark World checks. Yeah, this is definitely a better play to make than the uh, bunny walk here. And Jedi's going walk. through the Bumper Cave finds himself on top of Hyrule Castle. I would say bunny walk being one of those things that is very appealing in theory and in practice just wastes a lot of time. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. doesn't find much on top of the castle. It's a dark cave, he, which he's following? Uh, it is in fact the Cave to Death Mountain. I actually turned on Lin or Jedders' audio for a second, so he's trying to get to the old man. Or I heard him jump down a ledge when he was down there, so he's trying to get there. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't play this mode a ton but have dabbled, uh, always a good idea, especially if you're at your, the end of your route when you run into a dark room, to just jump down and see what you see if you get jumped down, because that connection to Death Mountain is always super helpful to find. Uh, yes, that's the Death Mountain Ascent Cave. As we find Meanwhile. the third Ganon Tower small key. I don't know about you, but and I think they might. Ooh, there it is. I think they might be doing something in Ganon Tower this seed, guys. Yeah, yeah. So, Hype Cave over on East of Mountain, pretty good. Between the two runners, we are a cane and a bow from being able to full clear the seed, and a cane, a bow, and a small key from being able to logically full clear. There's Find Hera, Hera as well. Also, with the super early mitts availability and no moon pearl, I'm really suspicious of that mitts locked spot in Death Mountain right now. As Big we get the hint dead. that Pyramid Fairy entrance is El Zilcho. Pretty loaded east of mountain. Lennon doesn't have his mitts yet, so he can't check the entrance there. Yep. And we will see once Jedders makes that play, which I assume will happen after these entrances are checked. He'll see the uh, bottom of Spiral Cave. And so yep. he'll see his... Eventually, when he goes to check the eastern area, he will see his intended way of reaching Death Mountain. Which is always good to keep track of. Generally, it's a very good idea to not really care about logic. <laughs> Back of Old Man Cave, <laughs> spitting us out on East Death Mountain as well. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad place to have. Like, it gives you a way to start there if you need to get there or get to Hera quickly. But it's not very uh, good feeling right now for Lin. <laughs> If I believe this is the chest mini game here, yep. And he's gonna get his fire rod when he opens that second chest. Then now opting for the Philippa strike, so should find his mitts here. Maybe a little frustrated by uh, where he finds these mitts. And yeah, I, I actually think Data Plot raises a good point that just eliminating that spiral cave entrance is a great weight off your mind. Yeah, can just drop down the middle once you find the top. So I would suspect at some point we're going to see this turn into a Zora play for Lin. Nice fake fake flippers by Lin. At some point those habits just get ingrained in you. As Magus abuses a poor innocent animal. And is rewarded with his cruelty by 20 blood money. <laughs> and 
now we see the entrance that Lynn was missing, which is Hyrule Castle, so not all that important. We've got the front entrance available to us readily below Kakariko. Which is also, I guess, noteworthy in that it's uh, another intended way of getting to Death Mountain. So that spiral tr cave traversal is not even necessarily logically required. Yep. Uh, Jerry Lynn stole the key. I would be vaguely surprised if he uses it at this point, especially if he doesn't find just like a super convenient opportunity to do it. Oh baby, I think Jeddah's just got a chest turn on the hint tile. So a hint turn? I mean, honestly, those are the high level mechanics I watch Rando for. <laughs> Obviously. Uh... For those of you who don't chest hurt, it's a very important fundamental skill that you only see the best of best runners do. It saves you a literal one frame, maybe sometimes. But more importantly, it looks cool. Yep. As uh, Jedders pays a visit to the Waffle House there. Looks like Lin is going back immediately to that one check. Might also bunny walk the dark well checks at the lower end. I would actually expect when he checks that and finds its Hyrule Castle, he'll probably check the back. Especially because yeah, if there's nothing, he can easily reset and scum that key back. He's got a couple things that can help him echolocate it way through the maze. Let's see, Jellers takes the dark well portal. And we're gonna see Dark Death Mountain. Uh, Sanctuary Sanct is at Aga, or at Lumberjacks, Recitador. Yep. As the first entrance on each Dark Death Mountain is a buff, as Alphador wanders into the second entrance to find something a frustrating you can do. cave. <laughs> Lynn making his way through the dark sewers. Now going to probably the most dangerous room here, but with the hookshot it's much safer. Yeah, all these are one-shot kills. Oh yeah, also he does have the fire rod, which he picked up. So if he wanted to, he could ease me. Which honestly, he probably should just light the torch. May have forgotten. I mean, I think most yeah. of us who play this mode have done this uh, enough. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I do not I'm believe doing... either runner checked the Ice Palace entrance. They both decided the uh, playthrough bumper cave was more appetizing, data flat. Yeah. As Kiret meets his well earned end. There's what, a big 20 in the Dark Cross chest? Yep. So Lin's found nothing that he would be upset to scum away right now. Yep, yep. So we'll see if... Absolutely garbage. And that looked like just a reset there. I don't think he ever went down to save and quit. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, hot hot garbage describes that pretty well. I think Jedders is probably gonna make his tour to Agina very soon. Uh, did he check Old Man yet? I can't actually tell. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, yes, he has. Never mind. Oh yeah, he his, might have his stream has a that. lot of information on it, and one of the pieces involves what all of his numbers on his map mean. Yeah, but we told you not to play the daily. It wasn't cross keys. That was your first mistake. Then now going for Zara, and he can actually check Zara. I'll say this would be a nice find for Lin if Sora has something important. 
Or even better, something not very important but required that causes jetters to push it off. I'm not sure what your dreams look like incoherent, but that sounds like my nightmare. <laughs> Thoreau with just a piece of hard. Yeah. Well, lucky for Lynn, Jetters is coming back here right now to check Zora. Yep. I think that might have been another hard reset, Lynn. Yeah, he's kept his money. Yep. It's gotta feel a little upsetting to not find any progression, but at least he gets to keep all the stuff that he was spending. Uh, Illus, discussion of the daily is how the fire rod on uh, Laser Bridge got brought up. As... Lin is now going to see the perhaps bad news of a Ganon Tower Big Key. But at least he's going to have that Skullwoods Big Key to compensate himself. Yo. Big Key shed today. I'm saying we're starting to run out a little bit. Yeah. Of I location at this point. Have much left up on my map. Have we um, seen... Uh, did Lin check Ice Palace when he was there? Uh, I don't think so, no. Since he uh, took the portal to Zora. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so that's one place that's still open and is suspicious with mids. I mean, did I agree with you? It looks very much like an early Swamp Palace is coming, but we haven't found it yet. Yeah. We we have a, a lot of connectors left open now. Like, I will write, uh, uh, what's it called? Brother's House is still left yep. open. Paradox Cave still has two more exits we haven't seen. Uh, that's so. true. That's a good bit to do. Oh, so and Meyer is available, and there's a yeah. fire shot now. With the hook shot and fire rod, that seems much more attractive, yeah. Uh, and only a single small key, so nothing that's like screaming for it to be in logic. Uh, and it's out of logic, but obviously the last chest to escape is also accessible. Yep. As Lin is gonna find his way to Misery Meyer now. Yep, this uh, weird interdimensional connector. Yeah, I fell down and I ended up in the dark world. Weird. Dark world confirmed hell. Lin, of course, uh, a big fan of Good Omens on Amazon Prime. Is a fact that I am making up just now. This is no Stranger Things. The real bad place was the friends we made along the way. Um, has some interesting movement happened there in Meyer, and uh... Not sure what he did there. Uh, he got in a weird state, I think, where he ended up, uh, I don't remember what the technical term for it is, but you end up moving like one at a time, and then ended up softlocking because of it. Oh. Uh. Oh, because he got to the ledge of the water there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that earlier for someone. Bunny doesn't hate... I mean, Bunny does hate water, but... <laughs> I, was saying, I mean, bunny surfing is usually referred to uh, the technique you use to get to... Um, Lake Hylia Island with that Moon Pearl. Which I've done once in my life, because I had nothing else to do in a multi-world.
but it is true that bunnies are actually allergic to water. Uh, as we're gonna see Lin probably make his play to Meyer now, I would guess. Yeah, maybe Skullbots? Uh, he doesn't I mean, have no a sword. Smoky, yeah. No sword. Oh, no sword. I, I forgot that, uh, that, that bind thing way too often. That's, but yeah, that's Meyer. the most annoying requirement in the game to me because it, I always just don't think about it. Yeah, I've got a hammer, I've got a fire rod, let's go kill Moth. Oh, wait. Time for some hammer Maya too. Not the fastest, but then makes it work. Gets the job done. Meanwhile, Jetta's on his way through the dark sewers as well. Finds the key and will find great disappointment. And also hard reset. Nice. Bugnet and shovel and Meyer. Sick. <laughs> Just what you need. I mean, we've actually seen that hint already. But yeah, like at this point, I want that shovel enough to do this. Yeah. Agreed. Help. Oh, he gets one. to go the long way. <sighs> Let's see what Jedis is taking us now. Also making his way back to uh, Ekariko with all its 17 billion connectors. Oh, so oh. Yeah, Lin is very happy that he grabbed that magic on the way up. He missed his first shot and would have run out of magic here. Uh, I will say that it's probably less enticing of a shovel than you might expect, just because of the Misery Meyer Key situation right now. We find a connector to Shopping Mall in Paradox Cave. Uh, good to know, but not helpful right Sadly, now. Sadly, yeah, doesn't get us anything since we're missing a Moon Pearl. Which I kind of expect to be in Meyer, to be quite honest. I could see that thing just sitting on the right side. Uh, it's definitely possible. Since when we don't have that many more item locations that I can think of that are actually in logic. I would say more to the point it's we don't have that many more locations to visit. Yeah. Uh, that sure. wouldn't be out of logic. And a lot of the ones that have items that you can get as a bunny uh, just are gone. So like Hype Cave's gone. Uh, mirror obviously could be a thing too. Just some umps. A bottle for a sick kid? Yay. What's up with these fetch quests today? Uh, and again. Oh. Sick it is a, at least very close to the saving quit point, so. Yeah, it's not too bad to check. And the moon There's pearl. the pearl. Didn't call it. Probably feel a bit frustrated about that, but is in better shape than he realizes right now. Yep. yep. And Jodos now finds another way to the mountain. He's giving us the dark world checks now, which we haven't seen. First one in Spike Cave being our bomb shop. Ice Palace and Thieves Town. Well, given that we're just a big key away from completing the being able to complete Thieves Town fully is super nice. Yeah. And we already have the Ice Palace big key, so Ooh. there's no worries about leaving anything there. The other connector in Kakariko leads up to Floating Island, probably the best connector to find. Was that the Twin House connector? Yep, the, the Crawling Brothers or whatever they call them in the spoiler log. The Angry Dudes, got it. Yep. 
The red boomerang can be found <laughs> with Agina. Yay. Actually, it would have been a really helpful hint for Jedders to have gotten since he found Agina in bunny form. Oh, yeah. I think that was a Bombos on Turtle Rock as well? It looked like it, yeah. Not much up here on the mountain so far. Yeah, and we already know that there isn't really anything down there. So, yeah. Lin picking the correct place to go. Although neither of these are going to be huge payouts for him. But all he would have found down there was, I believe, a shop in Agina, which we now know yeah. has the red boomerang. I didn't catch what was the other entrance on West Darkness Mountain, but Lennon will show it soon to us. Uh, JT Sismi, uh, Moon Pearl was on the bridge chest in Mire. So has been in logic since the hookshot. It's oh graveyard ledge. So Jealous couldn't do it. And sadly he's taking the connector before he goes to Meyer. Well, there's a skull with small key, so uh just if one does now. pick up a sword, he does have the ability to just kill Mothula at any point. Yep. We don't really have Oh well, I guess Linden has access to Part of the dark world now, with the fl uh, connector to shopping mall and uh, his flippers. I mean, the I think they have access to the entire dark world now with the mitts. Oh right, they have hammer and mitts. I'm a dummy. They they've got access I was looking, to. I was looking for connectors and I was thinking, like, huh? Yeah. But yeah, you're right. They just have connectors. hammer and mitts. Access. They can just start an old man and get into the pot area right away. Yep. Uh, Don't he mind will... me. Let's see if he knows enough to just immediately save and quit after he walks into Agina. Or he tries to actually do something in here. Yep. And he, he doesn't want it. that red boomerang. And now some choices are to be made. And starts at Sank, so it looks Probably like he's gonna do Sick Kid. Yeah. And may turn that into a Vu slash Skullwoods play, because he can clear all of Skullwoods, uh, including the big chest. And he can check the back entrance, uh, the back entrance we haven't seen yet. Big payout from Sick Kid, 10 whole arrows. And I think we will see the front of uh, the, the Zelda cell now. The rest of the front in Hyrule Castle. Since Jealous has already safe scumped the back. And we'll see if uh, Skullwoods wants to be friendly or a giant pain very soon. Well, 50-50 chance that Skullwoods sucks. Yep. To be well, determined. 100% no. chance that Skullwoods sucks. It's just how much it sucks. Yep. And Zelda Cell is the cane! Ooh. That's interesting. Interesting. Not in logic because yeah. it still requires that Hyrule Castle key, but very interesting. Castle Tower key, hmm. Let's see if we have the, the usual bullshit words. Like, this is supposed to be one-third of the time, right? But it feels like at least 70 per- it's of course. 
Oh, it feels like 90% of the time. <sighs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> Maybe right. he gets the 1 in 4 bailout. Maybe. Uh, besides against it. Oh, so that's actually surprising if he decides against it. That's a lot of items he'd be leaving behind. As he falls directly into the one he'd probably most want to fall into. Well, it's, it's one third of the time that uh, the front of Skull would spit you out in the back. It's one fourth of the time that you're actually stuck. As this is a, a little bit of a bad fall for Lynn to have taken here. Weak. Sadly, pretty useless. Yeah, not really any good, but it'll get the job done. And Jetta's making his way into Maya, so he'll be finding his pearl. Yeah. He'll feel probably a little bit behind after that, but he's not... He hasn't been super inefficient about stuff, maybe done a bit more bunny walking than he would have wanted to otherwise. Yeah. As Lin is going to walk out because he's afraid of dying on the death warp, or on the uh, bomb jump, and doesn't want to have to rewalk this area. A little annoying to do this without the sword for spin buffers. Yeah. That gets it. For a beautiful piece of heart. Just what he wanted. Very much worth it. Love the Skullwood's big chest. Favorite check in the game. Yep. Had my go mod item earlier today. I, I loved it. Oof. Of course I put it off for ages. Alright, now we're gonna see what's in the back of Skull Woods. It is oh. Aga Tower. Well. Wow. So I'd expect Lin is Probably gonna grab the two items in here. <laughs> Not if you have the big key, Goomba. I would say, and we certainly won't see him kill Aghanim. Not the least of which is because he doesn't have a sword. But also because he's scummed the key and can tell that Aghanim is now useless for him. Yeah, this is something that would make me highly suspicious of both uh, the back and the Zelda cell, which could lead him to the cane. Uh, as nice as Bugnet Aga feel sounds, Jerry, you still need a sword to slash the curtain. Yeah, or Spagnet Aga is sadly just a thing in swordless modes. Did Lin not? I would say he's in the maze, right? He's not. Okay, I'm like, dude, you yeah. have fire. Not sure why he's not lighting a torch. Oh, you have fire, Lin. Like he's looks almost like he made it through. It looks like, but uh, no, he didn't pick it up. Whoop! Well. Yikes! And that's a bad spot to go back to, so that's a really nasty orphan sitting there for Lin. Oh, did he get it? Okay. What did oh, he did he get a sword? Oh. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he I got don't... a sword! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, time to complete this hour. A sword is one of the only things that you can actually get that doesn't show up, and we're both playing with the runners muted, so we missed the sound. <laughs> I have to specifically turn on a runner sound if I want to hear it. Yes, yeah, that means I would have to listen to something other than my '90s emo music, and nobody wants that. Jetters is gonna finish up and Meyer here. So that doesn't get Lin much, though. I guess he can go complete Skywards now, as we saw uh, said. Yeah, and I assume that's actually what we're going to see Seems what do he's right doing now. since he froze up on magic. So we're likely going to see our first dungeon completion of the game here. Yep. Jettas on his way into the dark world as well. The mitts haven't been required yet, right? Uh, no. 
So I would definitely be super suspicious of uh, like hammer pegs, blacksmith, and purple chest right now. Yeah. Because those things were very, very early in logic, and getting both of them that early in logic. Uh, Doesn't have Because awesome. I don't think that even one glove has really been needed. Yeah, yeah and the ice entrance. Uh, yeah, yes, we, we have a commander. Character. So. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Uh, I was thinking the flipper is more likely for Swamp, but it could also be for Ice as well. Shadows uh, finds the book and Swamp Palace Bicky. So uh, we are literally just need to find Swamp. Yep. Full cleared. And the Ice Rod. Okay, this is a stacked blind zone. Uh, Goomba, Agina's house takes you down into the abyss and you come out of the abyss out of the Turtle Rock Escape Cave in Mire directly where Agina's house is in the light world. It's a pretty comical connector. We As find Hammer Moth is... Desert entrance. Really low-key, one of my least favorite fights in the game. Same. Same. Like, it's not super hard or anything, it's just frustrating. And it's a crystal. Nice. Small key to Hyrule Castle. Hey, there it is. Hanan Logic. A map on a torch. And a useless hit. Sounds about par for the course. I mean, if you still haven't watched Stranger Things, that's your own damn fault. I haven't watched Stranger Things, but that's because I'm scared. Hey. <laughs> it's a really good I am good an show. aggressive coward. Yeah, I had some buffering on Resi's side, uh, on, thanks Resi, on Jeddah's side. So maybe I'm ahead on, on him. You're ahead of Jeddah's on me. You told me what was in the hit before I saw it. Oh. Nah, I'm just a prophet, that's all. Uh, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but Hamza is actually Jeddah's. He's actually both calming and playing in this race. He thought it was a great oh, way to yeah. get information about what his opponent was doing. Yeah. Makes it much easier to win, I gotta say. Interesting. I've never seen that hint before. Nice high five by our runners, though. Yep. So, Lin making his way through here as well. So he should be finding the stacked blind set soon. And it looks like Jeddah's is going to the south. Never mind. To the pack caves, I mean. So Maybe they're not logically real there. Quick. But we're very soon going to have Trinex fully killable. In fact, Jedder's literally is a needs to find more keys or the back of Turtle Rock away from killing Trinex. Yeah. Uh, not logical, of course. Because we're going <laughs> to see what's in Hammer Pegs. Hammer Pegs I don't know. garbage. I probably would have waited for Purple Chest for that, but that's okay. Hammer Peg is one of those spots that's really awkward to route in in entrance. And time for Midi Moldon Cave. Midi Bucks, Heart Piece, 10 Arrows, a Compass, and a Heart Piece. Yay. I'm sure Jedders would, I mean, more than you normally would, Jedders would love to dig up the mirror here because he could grab the blacksmith and basically mirror and instantly turn him in. Um, okay. I'm having some trouble. That's what you get for looking to the future and cheating. <laughs> I mean, everybody's confirmed for Brawl. I don't see what the big deal about that is incoherent. This one's gonna make his way through here and... Check a couple of these spots that he hasn't hit yet. I assume the stuff south of Village of Outcast was nothing? The uh, game yes, and the... Okay. The hot... 
It now occurs to me that the commentary was because you guys probably got an add on Jetters' side, which I didn't see. Yeah, I got one as well. Smoky to pod. The ever sad first pod key. And Jetters finds pod. Yep, not surprising. We've seen we have a lot of dungeons that we just haven't seen yet. I would expect to see a few of them come up soon. I think Jeter still has his potion, so he can get to the back here without needing any of this key. Oh yeah, apparently Lin found the bow. Apparently you missed the bow, okay. Uh, great job, me. I missed the so, buffering too, apparently. I assume that was in the Storyteller Hut above Village of Outcasts? It's like caught the rest? I uh, would say, uh, that's probably what happens. I guess we'll see on Jedders' stream, but I did not catch it either. I think I got the buffer as well. Yeah, I was refreshing a bit. To hopefully not be in the future anymore. And, oh, never mind. Jetters is just going to mimic clip this. Uh, Jetters is a pretty yeah. well established overworld glitches player. You might and see so... some unbuffered mimic clips in like three seconds here. Oh, uh, so a finicky one frame in foots for things that uh, he's much more comfortable with than most people normally would be. Doop, 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 doop. And it's gone. See ya, nerd. <laughs> like, this is insane. <laughs> Blink and you miss it. Yeah, that was a uh, really, really impressive mimic clip. Yeah, I know you can, just not that fast. GT small on both sides? And a hard container, so both sides not the best, but we know so it's in Blink logic. Goes back to the back of Hyrule Castle. Uh, he will have everything he needs to fully complete GT the first time he finds it. Yeah. Unfortunately, if he doesn't find it, he could just end up leaving right side when it could have something. Uh, because it's as, not yet decided. <laughs> how is it not a major glitch? The answer to that question is because... It doesn't affect NMG. The glitch casing in this uh, randomizer makes no sense. <laughs> That's all I got. So far, pod pretty disappointing. Yep. Even the the few chests that are in logic. Lennon now goes back to shopping mall. Uh, Incoherent is correct, it is basically the same effect as those. Uh, the problem is, in my mind, all of those things should be banned, but... They're not, and so, while they're not, uh, those of us who play will continue to use them. Lin Lin now finds the connector mall down here. Hovering is actually pretty not that very rarely useful in normal yeah. seeds. I think it's actually a much more useful trick in Entrance. Yeah. For stuff like Spectacle Rock can suddenly be ginormous. But yeah, if you want to see glitches reclassified in Link to the Past Randomizer, write your congressman and demand that action be taken. <laughs> oh, shut us for Or just post on connector. the Discord, one of the two. Oh, the hey! Connector look, it's it's Meyer. The connector that we know is in Meyer, that's nice. By which I mean that's really annoying. <laughs> uh... Oh, at least you can grab this item now. I mean, even hovering Turtle Rock is pretty unlikely to be helpful overall. Sure. 
Shadows, you've been in here. Or does he wanna go back to desert area? Maybe. With this book? Maybe. I mean, the, the real answer is that there's no reason that rando glitch categorization should match up with NMG. Yeah. It doesn't in other randomizers. Agreed. But it just does. That being said, Mimic Clips are pretty cool. Yeah, they do look sexy. <sighs> Meanwhile, we find Ice Palace in pod. So I think Lin's gonna do this. I don't see any reason why he would not full clear this dungeon right now. Oh, I was looking at uh, uh, at TT. Right, he has the big key. Pod, he would offer no big trust, but given the spot it's in, I think he would have done it anyways. I would say I would have done it pretty much no matter what here, but um, in pod I probably would have done it. Yeah. As Jetters has found Ganon's tower. Another pod key. So we'll see what we find here. Uh, I'm most interested in what the right side is going to have as we find that big key of Hera. Yep. That's a fully completable dungeon for Jenner. Yeah, fake flippering and water walking can break entire seats. Oopsies, Lin. Time for some tile room fun on Jetta's end. Yeah, what Link to the Past needs is the sensible glitch categorization of Ocarina of Time, where you're not allowed to use hookshot extension unless you could already get to the place where hookshot extension would get you. <laughs> I don't know, makes no sense. <laughs> I didn't vote for that one. Half magic, eh. Probably not worth the time, but nice. I'll say, if I had known that was half magic going in, I would not do it. But I'm never going to complain. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how half magic feels most of the time. At least for, uh, for a long check like this. Gender's now making the play down the right side. Yeah, right side first makes sense. Yep. And grab the key. And, be and in neutral. fact, if he manages to avoid healing up, he'll have a nice death warp set up for himself, too. Desert small is interesting. The uh -oh. mirror, even better. Powder. That is terrifying for Lin right now. Whew. Because if he hits GT before he goes back into Hyrule Castle, he's going to leave behind that mirror. Yep. And Jedders is death warping now. Yeah, just wants the health refill, I assume, even though he has the mirror. Yep. That is a really good find for Jedders. Yeah, this can give Jettas a huge advantage. I didn't see where GT was. Was it in Desert Main? Uh, if it wasn't Desert Main, then yes, it absolutely was required. Ah. Oh. So at least, at least is going to need to find two items to be able to get in. Yeah, I assume it was in Desert Main since he walked through the Ascension Cave to the Desert Area. Uh, you're My definitely area. not wrong, Incoherent, uh, though I can't think of a single item I would hate to miss more than the mirror in this game. Yeah, for sure. Especially if you have, like, full regular Dark World access with mids and hammer and pearl. Uh, the book was, was in, the book in Lion's Hut? Hut. Yeah. Which was, I think, north of, uh, no, south of Village of Arcus? Uh, it was somewhere in the West Dark World, yeah. Yeah. Maybe Mira isn't required. You wish. Yeah, yeah. That seems extremely likely, Goomba. A bowl! 
Wait, all right, I'm gonna call our tracker a liar because there was no bow. Lim had the bow marked on his end. That's why. Why Someone he said else it. was looking into the future behind Tom, besides Homsta. Yeah, he had a track. I saw it as well. But apparently, we just know. All right. Uh, that's interesting. Also, that's some nice PRNG because I believe that's where the bow was in my seed last night. <laughs> I'll say, I believe you, Siberia. Lin is the real liar here and the person everybody should be mad at. Yeah, uh, just blame Lin. ZSR blame Lin. Turtle rock small in render room, another bottle, and some bombs. Yeah, that makes sense, especially given... Uh, it makes me feel better, because I'm like, I thought I was watching the entire time, and I don't remember him getting the bow. I must... Yeah, we're probably gonna see Kane Ice Armors, I assume. Don't think he'll do Hammer. Nice full magic drop to fill up Lin right there. I think he would have had enough with the two small ones, but... Yeah, definitely a thing you would rather have uh, full of. Especially yep. if you're doing hammer, cold stare, depending on your level of comfort there. I mean, he, he very suddenly is with the red mail, he can take a hug or two and just use his blue potion. Yo. I might have chugged it anyway just to make it faster, but... Uh, I'll say, hopefully Jenner's knows that Boomerang Armos is not the answer, and since he's pulled out his cane of Burna, he knows the correct weapon to kill this boss with right now. If you've never done cane of Burna Ice Armos, it's awesome. Look at this. I'll say, yeah, he, he, he messed it up at the start, but he knew what he was doing otherwise. As his game kind of froze on me for a second, but his tracker kept, or his timer kept moving. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Maybe the capture. I think he is on original hardware. So if you're doing finicky single tricks, that makes sense. Uh, meanwhile, Lin takes a 2-0 to zero crystal advantage. Looks like we get some more mimic clipping. Which probably feels nice for uh, Lin. Although, Jedders of course has the 1-0 to zero mirror advantage. We're going to see more clips here coming in. And see an art. Uh, fun fact, by the way, these Bebos will not fire at you if you mimic clip the mimics out of the first room. Why? I don't know, because programming. Well programmed game. Oh, just one of them? Oh, there goes the second Yeah, one. it's possible that you can get them desynced by, like, one frame. As we see the other guy continuing to try <laughs> to leave this world. Uh, for some reason, Mimic Clipping is so funny to me. Oh, I'm I find Mimic Clipping hilarious. I should make sure if I ever do it in a race, I have my microphone muted, because otherwise you will hear me yell, "wee" really loudly as it happens. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I told you, Megawatt. Janus is good at Mimic Cliffs.
I like fast buffalos. <laughs> Oh, I'm say, Lynn may be leading shovel. in crystals, but Jetters is definitely leading in fan approval right now. Yep. Ice Palace small key. That would have oh, been I'm nice. Sure to Lynn off. wouldn't have liked having that earlier. Yeah. Would have made it a bit faster. It isn't, but uh, overworld glitch. It's not an overworld glitch, glitch, but overworld glitch runners are much more used to finicky single frame inputs. Yeah, for all which the is diagonal definitely clips. definitely what mimic clipping is, especially if you do it unbuffered. Which, I can barely do it buffered, so no. <laughs> I mean, it should throw off his logic of where the bow is. It should help him actually narrow down his logic of where the bow is. I mean, unless just, like, absolutely I mean, Ravis, you do it unbuffered the exact same way you do it buffered. You just have very agile fingers. You... They don't have collision as they're walking left for the first frame, so you have one frame and then you need to change the direction to up or down, so they lock their position in. As you see a, uh... Oh, well that's easy, you just have 17 fingers. <laughs> we may need a, a hand cam on Jadas for the future. Uh, Zoro, you may in fact see an Aga 2 with bug net incoming. If there is not a sword up here. Uh, the pyramid drop is magic bat, Residador. Which is probably part of the reason why he's climbing. Can get everything up here and the path. Yeah. I don't I don't really question this decision at all. Uh given that GT's in a kinda bad place to get to. Uh, you're you're going a little heavily more heavily out of logic than I usually like, but you're only the bow out of logic, so unless the bow is your go mode item, it's not like you're gonna be able to eliminate this. Yep. And considering we know how early the bow is in logic, yeah, he, he's doing fine. Then now exploring a bit more of the dark world. I will say, one of the things I've been really happy with in this tournament is just kind of getting to see runners who are maybe not from the same circles. Like, I know there are probably like 15 or 20 people that ran entrance a lot going into this tournament. And seeing all of these people come in, like Jetters, who I know plays a lot of overworld glitches, like, it's just cool to see the different skill sets that you have. Yeah. Also, nice double turtle rock keys in, in the mini Helma room. We haven't seen much of anything in terms of Turtle Rock, have we? Nope. Uh, it... Lynn doesn't have the cane, and I believe they've yeah, only yeah. found the front entrance. Yeah, I only have the front marked. What's I about Jedders, to say? Jedders he... takes a fall to the evolved Tower of Hera boss. Yeah, I thought he was about to murder him bounce, but that would mean he misses the chest. Oh, so, <laughs> so it I would gotta be, be kind honest, of pointless. It would be a bad decision, but I would be all for the Moldorm bounce. Moldorm bounce for the for the side points and then fall off. I'll say it is entirely possible that not only is the GT climb logically required, but if we don't find more Turtle Rock keys, it could actually be required. Yeah. A real possibility at the moment. Oh, this room without boots is a pain. I believe the techno term is boing. <laughs> As Lin here is not cheating his way through, and the crowd is very unhappy about it. On Lucas booing. 
nice stack up. Oh, sadly with the net a bit harder, and then this pattern happens. I mean, net is probably still better than his hammer. Jether's so. definitely going for the fan vote in this. Uh, Alvin, you're correct. It could be completely not required. Uh, however, it could also actually be required, and the keys could be locked up here. Like, if I'm Jedders, I don't feel great about this climb so far, given what I've gotten. But it's certainly in the realm of possibility that it's... Uh, required. Oh, let's hope he doesn't die. They're getting really desynced. Oh god, the desync hurts. I think he has a potion still? He should probably have one, yeah. Ah, he gets uh, it. It doesn't matter. Easy. Jetter's using this uh, Mimic Bolus Swordless Climb Up GT <laughs> as a way to get himself a teleportation to the uh, pyramid that he already has been to. As Fine. we're going to see the back of uh, Pod here for the first time, because Jedders went yeah. in here without. Another skull with small, not really what you want to see. Big moment but... of truth here coming for Jedders. I guess that puts Muffin logic. Yay. I was saying, I'm not sure I've ever met a person who cares about Muffin logic. Yeah. Five rupees. That's uh, not exactly what you'd call worth. Ooh. Yeah, Lin may get to avoid all of that, but on the other hand, he has bow and hook shot, so once he finds GT, he's probably gonna climb. Let's be real. A uh, very real chance that he climbed. I mean, the big key isn't in logic, uh, or uh, logically required. The big key is not logically required for Mothilla, but both small keys are in fact logically required for Mothilla, because otherwise you'd lock yourself out of the door to get to him. By opening some very dumb doors. Admittedly. Like I said, nobody ever has cared about whether Mothilla <laughs> is logic, but yeah. it is technically a thing. Oh, Lin, he's no dying. Interesting one hour twenty three minute front of Hyrule Castle check. Last drop down. I did he actually get the second item in Dark Maze? Or hey, was that an unintentional no death? Didn't have the audio on, so Alright, worth noting, Lynn did leave two chests there that are in logic. Two? One actually no, he would have circled around for that. He left one chest that's in logic. Yay, invisible items! V31, please! Oh, was oh it, it looks like sword? Master Sword! That was yep. a Master Sword! Another so, sword in the dark! <laughs> twice in this seed we have been baited by Invisible Sword. The funny thing is, earlier today in my seed I had a sword in the dark sewers, and Lin was doing a practice seed earlier that I watched him do, which also had a sword in dark sewers. <sighs> RNG much? <laughs> Pseudo random number generators are fun. <laughs> yeah, Jedders forgets that swords are actually an option in this mode. <laughs> Didn't get the memo. I'll say, and I don't even really blame him for that climb. Uh, you're sitting there with all four small keys, and you're naturally just going to be worried about some of those more extreme points. Uh, Big J's, yes, that is probably true. I have certainly heard that rumor as well, specifically because one of the reasons that people pushed against auto-tracking, uh, avoiding to open a can of worms here, but effectively is because they uh, gave you an advantage uh, for those invisible items.
as Jeter sits there pondering what to do now. I mean, after you bowless, swordless climb Ganon's tower, your seed's just kind of going downhill from there. Sadly, this is... Lin is also basically putting the, the purple chest now on the back foot. Yeah, the purple chest is really orphaned now. And I believe we still have not seen an Ice Palace play. Uh, Jindra, there's a couple of items that if you open in the dark, it does not show up as an item over your head, so you can't see what it is. Uh, Freddy, we haven't seen the purple chest yet. Uh, both Jedders and Lin abandoned it, or uh, orphaned it pretty hard. Yeah. The cane is just sitting in... Uh, Blancet? No, Zelda cell. Book so specifically, if you dark room uh, in Palace of Darkness and you find a sword or the map or the compass, uh, obviously in Key Sanity you get the pop-up telling you which map or compass, uh, but you don't actually get a visual indicator on the screen, and so you have to go to your pause menu or flash your sword to see what you picked up. Then now As... finds the Hyrule Castle key, which hopefully gets him to the front sometime. Yup! Because missing Kane is not good. Well, we don't know if Meyer is a crystal or not. But. It's statistically likely that missing Kane is bad. Uh, yeah. And considering what was on the right uh, side. Especially he given that it blocks the much... mirror. It's yeah, he... incredibly statistically likely. Yeah. Yeah, that is the one problem with key stealing for the back in a situation like this. Like, obviously it makes sense because it's one item versus three items. But it, it kind of can backfire like this. Yep, I definitely had to seed once where all three of us stole the key and in the race. And we all left our mirror in Zelda cell for two hours. Yikes. <laughs> It's, it's rough when it happens. As uh, we're now picking up didn't Dust even Luke. see that. This I is didn't... a uh, pretty stacked desert area. Yeah. So Lin has a pretty good lead in terms of what's been done, but Jedders has a lot that he's done that Lin hasn't done yet. Yeah, which is very likely required in the form of GT. Of all the items in there. So... Then making good I use mean, of the hookshot connector here. I always assume the mirror is required. I've had mirrorless seeds, but they're few and far between. Yeah. Let's see if the smithies pay off in any form. Thing. We're going to see very quickly if Lin is going to follow on that Hyrule Castle key, because this is as good of a chance as he's ever going to get. Looks like we're going to see a full turtle rock like you do it in an open more standard seed. Four keys? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty strong signal that you're getting from the seed that that's what it wants you to do. Yeah, four keys, even a big key. Oh, Ice rock, Lin is fire checking rock. the connector instead of going for the item. Yeah, we haven't seen the right side yet, I believe. Well, at least it's K45, so it's not, uh... Gonna... Dark now. Oh, Lin, no! Looks like he's... Hasn't he... Did he not... Oh, he didn't have... Why did he not just walk to the back? You don't that need was... to walk to the left and then to the back. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was a decision. As we're going to see the uh, two chests coming up here in the front of Turtle Rock. Yeah, I think some people don't realize you can just walk on the right side of Hyrule Castle to the back. Because that's not how it's done. Oh, that's well, not big. At this point, I'm going to say certainly logically that Kane of Samari is required. Because we've yeah. now found a small key for Pod and uh, a big key for Desert. Yeah, it could be either, Guma. Um, Maybe you wanted to go back and then just decided, ah, I should get this while I'm here. Jindra, it is not... It depends how you try to do it. If you're trying to get it before you round around to the bottom, 
then yes, it's too tight. Uh, but if you just try to do it, if you just want to get it from the bottom, no, you can quick swap over to it. Yeah. That being said, I don't. That's like the one case I do not quick swap. I I just don't try for the right touch because I never hit it, even with pause menu swapping. So I just quick swap. <laughs> Another big key for pot this time. So this, this is seems a very much required. Dacked turtle rock. We'll see how Lin decides to play it. Since unlike Jetters who climbed, he's down three turtle rock keys right now. Oh, so I mean, objectively, I'm not surprised. Like. I would be completely unsurprised, for instance, to find progression in the big key chest here. Yeah. Or even on Trinax at this point. Oh, that is correct. Uh, Lin cannot kill Trinax yet. But yeah. he could see where... Uh... Laser Bridge and... The other two... And the other... Uh, two of the other exit lead out. This is very rad to see. Oh, so and also, logically speaking, for a GT climb, that GT climb is actually pretty early. Uh, yeah. You didn't need a ton of stuff to get into Ice Palace, and it was in the Freezor room, which just requires that Fire Rod. And we'll see what Jenner's wants to do here. Whether he wants to keep going or see where the exit is. Considering it's very hard for him to get locked out, yeah, it's I fair. I think he might check them. If he goes to G, like he could get locked out at GT, and that's a, or any of the boot and spots. Boot spots, yeah. Oh, there's an entirely unsurprising spot. Uh, Jetters is gonna get his first look here at a fairy fountain. Lin finds the laser bridge connector and wins in Hotel Mario percent. Always an important stat to track. Yep. And always a uh, very good place to find too, especially with that mirror that unfortunately for Lin he does not have. As a left, we'll get him back on the mountain, so he might be opting for a Hera entrance. Uh, I do not believe we have seen it yet. Lin obviously still needs to make that play towards Village of Outcasts for his book and his Ice Rod, so he can go to Ganon Tower, which will get him. At least I think that's where it was. Not sure. That was Swamp Palace, wasn't it? Uh, looked like it, yeah. Uh, Lin discovering he doesn't have a book. But it's probably gonna go in and complete this Hera Seed. Or, uh, this Hera Swamp Palace. Yep, we'll have to orphan the... Well, that was a good end. That's a nice bailout for uh, our runners. Sadly, he'll have to leave behind the big chest. Um, yep. I think that one was somewhere in GD. I believe it was, yeah. Bombos on laser bridge. Lin wishing he uh, accidentally forgot that chest right now. <laughs> I mean, even if Laser Bridge is on GT Jetters, doesn't feel too bad about it. Like, you missed two items out of it, but at least it's not a crystal. Alright, and the items that we're finding here are starting to get pretty depressing. Bumper Ledge. 
Okay, so we hard require that GT climb, I believe. Yeah. Unless uh, the right side of Turtle Rock is accessible somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Because you need three key. Well. Yeah. No, that's not true. You only need it two could keys. Could Pokey skill, yeah. But you'd have to be feeling pretty bold. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's really ballsy. Uh, but that's of course only if trying to explore fire. Yeah, and it's just for the green pendant. So if it was a crystal, I might see that happening, but. Yeah, right now the uh, best thing going for Lin is the fact that Trinex is a pendant. <laughs> Even though he probably does not know that. Because we'll likely see Lin do left side swamp. Uh, left side skips are a lot rarer in entrance. So yeah, at this point I'd say Jadis has a pretty decent advantage. Obviously he's missing the bow, which we will likely need. I we think it's interesting because Jadis has done a lot of stuff he doesn't necessarily need to do. Yeah. But managed to do, like, he managed to do a one-trip GT, uh, even though he's missing stuff. Yeah. And, like, and he has a lot of items over Lin, but many of those might not be needed. Like, Ice Rod, we will find out soon. Yep, the uh, book and the maybe? mirror are kind of the two big ones. Yeah. Those are the two big ones. Flute, maybe, probably not. Actually not. So we have uh, so a Maya Jenner's has no sword, but he does... Actually, did he check uh, Hylia Island? Uh, I don't. So maybe, because if he hasn't checked Highly Island, he doesn't even know that there's a sword there. I yeah, know Lin did. There's okay. a free one. Oh, so I knew Lin did, but I didn't know if Jitters did. So at least he knows where one of them are, and if he just clears out Pod normally, he will be able to go in. Just bombs on Trinex, so we'll see about Sarsarala. No, it doesn't help for Trinex at all. It's a lamp the on the left side. Lamp that I don't think either of these runners cares about. Nope. I mean, it's nice to have, but that's as far as I would put it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ginger, this is an extremely divergent seed, and part of it is because Lin is staying mostly in Logic, and Jedders has given Logic about seven different middle fingers along the course of this scene. Yep. He's just doing whatever he wants. Which, if it goes well for you, can make your route very, very fast. Yeah, or it. But if it doesn't, brings you on so many tangents that you don't need to. I'll say so. Trinex didn't have anything. Yeah, and he didn't flute over to Sarsarala since he is just at flute spot two. Yeah, I'd certainly be uh, a little anxious about Sarsarala. Um, he actually Looks like he's gonna... Oh, yeah, maybe. No, so, no he didn't, because he got the... Uh, he went in Turtle Rock after getting the flute and never went back to Kak. Oh, okay. So Looks we like might... he's finally grabbing his sword. I'll say we'll see a sword here. Uh, no, we I'm might just see him quit. I would... Rather a C at least to check on what Ice Palace is. I think he hasn't done much of the water spots either. Maybe? There's the mushroom, mushroom for linen swamp. Very dubious value item. And Jedders here, I think, is going to go to clean up uh, Desert Palace. Seems likely with his mirror. He's getting bullied a little bit by the water bugs. Like Illus around a dark maze and pod. I have no idea if Illus is watching, but that was mean if he was. Actually, it was just mean no matter what. Ah. 
falls down. Interesting. That's not what I would have expected, but okay. Yeah, same. I don't think we've seen this one yet, though. At least I don't think I have it marked. Oh, well, that's well, pretty useless. That's not super costly, although. He is not going to do desert now because he fell. Meanwhile, Lin looking to pick up his third dungeon completion. Another crystal. Also a crystal. Okay. So we know what four crystals are now. Mm -hmm. Jeddah's going over to Pod should find Ice Palace and his bow there finally. And all the pieces will come snapping back into place. Yep. Finally back in logic for him. As well, Kiki will charge somewhat. you 110 rupees for the privilege of going into the worst dungeon in the game. But yes, Green Pendant is the big mystery. Uh, as is the presence of Right Side of Turtle Rock. Because either of those being, or if the Green Pendant's not required, that greatly hurts the requiredness of the climb. Uh, okay. Lin hands in the sure. mushroom immediately. And I think it's just immediately gonna head to that potion shop. Probably, it's in Keck anyways. Uh, well, not with that route he's not. Unless, does he have a connector there from... I don't think so. Or is he just gonna check Ice Palace? Uh, probably. As Jedders and Lin see very different images on that island. Yeah. I spell us being King's Tomb today. Well, uh, the bottle and the fairy. Meh. Let's see, I assume Lin is going back to the Dark World. Uh, yeah, which should give him his book, which could lead to again tower for him. Uh, Zora, I believe Sick Kid just gave you ten vampire skewers. Yup. And it's a small key. And it is Era. one we might care about, because I don't think we've gotten a basement. I don't think so, yeah. Uh, does that eliminate... I mean, I guess you people might still care about pod keys, but other than that, I think those are all the small keys we care about. Yeah, pretty sure. Back to Meyer for Lin. He can complete it now, so... I like it. Yeah, very reasonable play. He wants to find out if it's a crystal or a pendant. Yep. He's figuring out if something's a crystal the old-fashioned way, beating the dungeon. It didn't look, I haven't found really many maps, I think. So... I was saying, even if we have, we certainly haven't really gotten the checks for them. We're still missing two pendants. And three crystals. Ten bombs in the big chest of Meyer. Oh, Vidi is our only hope. Something good in Meyer. There's the Meyer big key for Jetters. Who, I don't think Jetters actually ever made the play into Meyer, did he? I mean, he got his pearl from there. Oh, of course he did. But... <laughs> yeah, so he... 
has at least that much, and he has a shovel. Yeah. Long time ago. Hello, the rejects. I felt bad calling you the rejects, so I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Jedders is now going to drop down into the right, uh, last hit in Ice Palace and use that to check. Nice tea room. It's an awful room. I hate this room. <laughs> Uh, Jindra, we have not guaranteed that the min the mirror is required, to my knowledge. Yeah, I don't think so. But we are still missing at least some amount of item, uh, obviously depending on uh, what dungeons end up being required. Uh, we don't have the boots, which may be required. Uh, we do not know if the Thieves' Town, or we don't know where the Thieves' Town big is. It obviously will be required. Uh, and so it's a little difficult to tell. I think on the whole, Jedders would prefer if this is one of the nastier seeds in terms of what it requires. Like, he would be all smiles to see, like, a Thieves' Town pedestal. Thieves' Town big key pedestal. Yeah, with him having completed that pretty nasty turtle rock already. Jedders picks up his bow and... Small key to pod on Viddy. But a um, crystal nonetheless. So, yep. of the remaining two dungeons... 50-50. Two are crystals and two are pendants. And we know where the big key is for three of them. And on his stream, Lin just changed his tracker to Dark World, so I think he's looking to make a place somewhere to Dark World. Although I don't necessarily know how he marks his tracker. Does he have every spot pre-marked? Because it looks like he has Dark yeah. Mode. I'm not sure where... Did he miss Black 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 then? Yeah, and I'm not sure where that was, actually, because it was during the whole buffering shenanigans. Fiddle, I don't think he missed a chest. What chest do you think he missed? And like, he clearly doesn't have the ice rod or book. And even if Jedha's missed one, the only important thing in here was the bow, so... At least to my knowledge. Uh, and the Misery Mire big key, but he got that. Oh yeah, he got that one. As Jedders finally puts one on the win column in the crystal board. <laughs> but worth noting, uh, Jedders might be one item from go mode at this point. Mm. Depending on the pendant layout. I assume pretty soon here we're going to start seeing him just start clearing dungeon, since he has the ability to do it relative to point. And I guess technically two items from a go mode since he needs... You cut out there. Uh, I was saying two items for go mode because he needs... You cut out again. After need. <laughs> We'll just leave it a mystery what I said. <laughs> it might have been something to do I with the fact do. that Jedders may not have a sword, or doesn't have a Master Sword yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, he should stumble across those. Uh, the Rejects, it's actually really interesting, um, because Lin certainly has a lead in terms of what he's been done with Crystals. As we pause temporarily for the Hyrulean National Anthem. Uh, however, Jedders has done a lot of stuff that Lin hasn't. 
Uh, Jedder's sequence broke with Mimic Clips all of Ganon's tower, which Lin has not even found and doesn't even have the item required to find Ganon's tower, which has his mirror in it. But so far, none of that is actually required. <laughs> have we... F we f found Eastern. We know where Thieves Town is. We know where the back of the desert is. We know where Hera is. Yeah, we know that as well. Yep. So Lin at least won't need the mirror to enter one of the dungeons. So. Yep. He won't need huh. it for dungeons, but he might need it for getting items. Yeah. Because that's not what you want to see in a yeah. chest like that. As Lin is starting, I think if he's running here to check the Hera basement, he's starting to run out of options in his mind. Yeah. So we're likely here, I would say, given the starting point, going to see him make a play down to Turtle Rock and check the front area of that. Yep, sadly he doesn't have the small keys required to go all the way through, but I think he can get all the big keys. I would say, but he has the small keys required to get all of the items he needs. Yeah, so... He doesn't know it, but he does. He might end up accidentally skipping the mirror and book. Which is... Interesting. Like after this, I'm pretty sure he goes back and just completes Desert and... Um, uh, yep. Desert and Pod. You know, Desert, Hera, also, Pod. I think we just... Or got a map track, at least our tracker marked um, Eastern, Eastern and Hera as crystals, which would mean Desert and Pod are our pendants. If we and that, of course, adds knowledge. a second item to the required item pool. Yep, Eastern Bikki. We have not seen that anywhere yet. Uh, true. He did get Bombos. Uh, however, we already know what Meyer is, so the only reason Bombos could be required at this point is for getting into Turtle Rock. Yeah. And entrances are less likely to be relevant at the moment. Jedas now finds his Agate Tower. Okay, and Lin makes a seed saving play to not save and quit here. Looks like Although he's it looks safe like coming. he may be just leaving. Oh that's true, he probably is just gonna be safe scumming this key. Unfortunately for being at a ferry. So if the map check we got if the map check we got was right at this point, uh both runners are sitting here needing the Eastern Big Key and Thieves Big Key, and Lin has the additional requirement of the Hera Big Key, which he will find in Turtle Rock. That being said, I would say the overwhelming balance is that one of those is likely going to require the mirror. Yeah. Or the Turtle Rock climb. Or even to uh, on Shadow, the tablet. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's not actually gonna reset here, but he's set, putting himself up in a position where he could reset. When he finds the Hera key, he's gonna accept it gladly. It's okay, Shadow. It's a very natural side effect of listening to me talk. Wait, where was the Hera big key? I don't remember, actually. Was it in GT? Uh, I don't think so? Oh, if that's the case, then Lin might have a problem. Yep, he's definitely gonna need that. I'm, I'm double-checking right now to see where that big key is, but... I mean, right or left doesn't make much of a difference now. It was a big key in GT, okay. 
Oh, so I'm actually going back and checking the VOD right now. Boop, boop. It was in Hope Room of GT. Oh, okay. And he's going back for more pod. I have to assume that Lin marked something at this point. Because the yeah. checks he's making are just less efficient than as oh. we now know where the fourth sword in the game is. I'm... I don't know where Blindside was. Didn't catch it. I assumed it was south of Village of Outcasts, but... I'll tell you guys in a second. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't the see either. Computers open. I, I had a nice uh, Nintendo Switch ad at that point. I'm looking to see when he marks his Ice Run and Book. Yeah, bumper entrances are both on the... Uh, is on the, the Light World Shopping Mall and I don't recall the other one. Oh yeah, up on Hero Castle. If you mean the actual bumper ledge, then that's the laser bridge exit. Which you can, as far as we know, only get to by going all the way through Turtle Rock. But those didn't lead to anything. Uh, Blind's Hut is in Thieves Town. Okay. Yeah, Lin has that marked off. So this might be a rip for Lin then. And the book in Ice Rod and the Swamp Big Key are confirmed. Yeah, the Thieves Town building. Thief Town itself only had the hammer. No, uh, the, the actual Thief Town entrance, not Village of Outcasts. Uh, yeah, incoherent. I agree that if Lin finds GT, he's like, well, yeah, he's likely to climb if he finds GT. I would say. Yeah. At that point, like he has all four small keys and a big key. Like that's telling you something. I would say, uh, hold on. Oh, it looks like he may have remembered. There's something over here. I would say he very well may have been re-watching his stream as he's done this. Sadly, he's on his light world map at the moment. Oh, so I'm, I'm watching his map to see what happened. Oh? No. He didn't even walk past the Thieves' Town oh, to so see the that the door. If he walks past it, it will be very obvious. <sighs> yeah, but there's nothing in that area. But I think he's trying to take a connector to Desert instead. Yeah, this is the only thing in, in Village of Outcasts that is of any, like, use the desert entrance. Oh, no. Not another one of those. Uh, yeah, so there's a storyteller in the brewery hut. And after he got the hint from the storyteller, he marked off Thieves Town. Oh. Yeah, I think H, uh, Jettos is on, on actual hardware. So let me see if he ever actually pops up towards the area to see it. Nice, nice uh, story box there, Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun running into that idiot. Yep, he, he gets the desert right and then just heads straight up out of Village of Outcasts. So Oof. he has in fact mismarked his tracker. Oh, Thief oh. Town making the right side of desert. Hello. So we're That's now Eastern Big Key for Steel. no mode. He keyed all right. Yes, he did. Interesting. Which would not hurt him unless the Eastern Big Key is on Lenmo. Lenmo. Yep. No, Lin knows 
TT is a, is a crystal. He just... There's something in the Thieves Town, in the actual entrance of Thieves Town, in Village of Outcasts, I and it's blindsided. He was in Ganon's Tower. Uh, probably, since Jedus has it. Oh, so he could also have been deeper in Turtle Rock. Yeah. Yeah, and Lin is back down to Master Sword for his tracker. He's safe scum pod. I'll say, guys, uh, I know that Lin has Master Sword instead of Tempered Sword. I'm trying to get in touch with the tracker. I think they're listening to us, so. We are very close to a non-required mirror. We're one item away from that mirror being completely unrequired, and if that is the yeah. case, Lin will not get the mirror if he can find the Eastern Big Key, like here. Yeah, if he finds Eastern Big Key before he finds uh, the book, and remembers like where Blindside is, once he finds GT, he's just in go mode in Hope Room and bails out and skips all of GT. Yep. The Which one good thing I will say for Lin... time save. Well, the two good things I'll say for Lin is he knows something is still wrong with his logic because he know he key stole to get this key, and so this can't be his intended progression. Uh, and the key steal will not punish him unless Lanmo is required for the Eastern Big Keep for some reason. Be it Eastern Big Keep on ten or right hand. Jedha's now making his way through a basically empty swamp, if I remember correctly. The big key to swamp here could make a difference, I guess. Since the yep. left that behind, but just a piece of art. Yeah, like, he needs to remember, just because... So... Like, the, there's no way for him to get into GT since the mirror is in GT, so he hard requires the book to get in there for the, the big key. The one thing helping Lin is that it's a very obvious entrance that he missed visual. Yeah, if he walks past it. <laughs> if he ever walks past it. Which he might if he does something like, well, I guess he got a hint for purple chest, so he won't do that. Yeah. Uh, but yes, if he finds the eastern big key... He does get to skip all of Ganon's tower other than Hope. Which is a, a significant like time gain over Jadas, but yep, at the same time so. he's he he has done some very inefficient checks because he's running low. Yeah. The problem for us but isn't that it's obvious, it's that he has to actually walk by it. Hope Room is needed for the Tower of Hera Big Key. Yeah, I'm, I'm very certain he didn't open it. We saw it barely on the edge of the screen while he walked to the desert, I'm pretty sure. I'm 100% certain he didn't open it because I rewatched. Oh, you watched it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I could see when he mismarked it to see what happened. Yeah, but then again, like, there's nothing in Village of Outcasts, so. And that purple chest hint could go from very useful to really terrible for him. Yeah. Like, unless he walks to that desert entrance again for some reason? Uh, Goomba, I agree with you. He is probably rewatching his VOD at this point. I certainly would be. And he knows he's yeah. missing. Uh, that being said... It's yeah, not a super have marked. thing on his map. It's not like he walks by a chest or something like that. It's just, he marks an entrance he doesn't go to. Right yeah, before he would have gone to it. Fuck. Finding that in your ward is really hard. Like if you don't have a rough idea of where you missed something. But maybe he remembers he was routing Village of Outcast weird or something. And checks it, I don't know. Um... They usually don't forfeit until the other one finishes. Like you just keep trying to search until you, until the other one just finishes, and then there's no real point in trying to keep and go. Yeah, this, I I agree. This is 
basically impossible for him to find in his ward. If he mismarked an entrance. Like, it's hard enough to find, like, if you, if, say, you forgot to mark a dungeon you entered, it's hard enough to find that if you just stepped the foot in there and then went out. Trying to find that in your ward is hard enough. But, yeah. The, trying to force people to play in this would be uh, pretty much torture if they're actually stuck. Yeah, I don't know what would happen if both were actually fully for like stuck and forfeit. No, I, I don't know if there's rules about that or there's been thought about it. Like it's not too common for people to actually fully get stuck and never remember. But it can happen. Jera's now going up against uh, Argus. Sorry, I can't roll Rs. Lin finds a desert connector, which gives him his flute. But that doesn't really... Ooh, maybe... No, he probably won't walk in the dark world to activate the flute since he doesn't have mirror. God damn it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Jardis is now just going and clearing dungeons, obviously. He has almost all the items and all the big keys he needs. I'm sort of surprised that like, he waited this long to start clearing dungeons. Because he could clear out quite a few of them, I think, fully. Well, I guess not all of them. Uh, Lin sadly mismarked an entrance that is uh, pretty required. He missed Blindsod, which had Ice Rod, which, uh, as far as we know, isn't required. And uh, which has the book. And the book is the only way to enter GT in the seed. And GT has Mirror and the required big key. Okay, so Lin is fluting. Sadly, he needs to be here in the other world. Then again, the flute doesn't open much for him, so it shouldn't like drag him away from this, from from finding the entrance he needs. And yeah, Jadas will now grab a th his Thief's Town big. Blindsard is in the Thief's Town entrance, the actual Thief's Town entrance in the Village of Outcasts. And Lin just didn't pull it open. So we hope that he walks by there at some point and just sees the closed door. But Village of Outcasts is basically empty. So yeah, the chances aren't all that good. Jettas now grabs the Bicky. I think he is now officially Eastern Palace Bicky from Go Mode. If I'm not mistaken, logically, maybe some other garbage, but yeah. Would expect him to go back to Maya soonish, since that's just two, like, sort of quick checks and the dungeon you can find out if you need or not. Like, he knows five crystals at this point. Go and complete Hera, obviously, and just orphan the, the Chesna in the basement, which isn't too bad. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to deal with something IRL. Oh, welcome back. Oh, we're going to see the Turtle Rock entrance. This would be really big for Jetters if Turtle Rock entrance ends up having something. Yep. That bomb boss is required, then is pretty much toast. It's just a hint. Alright, so... I think that means officially that that climb is not going to be a record. Yeah, pretty sure. 
Uh, the mirror obviously still could be required. Uh... Is pet dead? Did we get a pet check? That I, I think someone said, yeah. Oh, oh no, it's on either. pen. Okay, yeah, that's, that's oh. a dead pen. Group pen. Yeah, green pen was turned in as well. Also nothing. Yeah, it just read ether is and didn't read where it is. <laughs> Too slow. So Lin is still hoping to find that eastern big key. Uh, although he doesn't know that's what he needs to find, because that will save him a substantial amount of time in the seed. Wait. I thought pet, uh, green pen was turned in. Green pen it was turned in. It was cape. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Then realizes he does in fact have the hammer. And can and in fact get into this room. Looks like Jadis is now starting to clear some dungeons. Sadly, he's clearing a pendant first. <laughs> yeah, but this will be a very interesting thing to find too, since Lin stole the key. Yeah. So if this ends up being the Eastern Big Key, Lin is going to have to find that Desert Palace small. Which we think was either in GT or Turtle Rock. I'll see if I can get a direct location on that. Desert Small is in the compass room on the right side of GT. Okay. So not too bad either. Nope, not bad at all. Which means if Lin goes right directly from the start of GT... Ooh, as the boots are on Lanmo. Interesting. Which very easily could be required still. Yeah, there's a few entrances those boots lock. And if one of those has the Eastern uh, Big Key... Yeah. Yeah, I think Lin might be in a spot of trouble. J just a smidge. I'm surprised Jadis didn't just immediately do the bonk rocks? Uh, what bonk rocks? Next to Link's house? I mean, he wasn't... I guess he could have done it. He wasn't there. He may as well just keep doing crystals. Wait, he wasn't there? No, he was oh, at no. Uh, Desert, which is at uh, near Flute Spot 8. Oh. At uh, Ice Rock Cave. Oh, 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 yeah. Why did I think he was in... Oh, whatever. I'll blame it on the six hours of commentary. Uh, Fiddle, these runners are not... There's like a 30 second delay between the runner stream and this broadcast. So if you want to clip something, you should be able to do that. I, I just put clip this channel uh, instead. Oh, and, that's and a good not point. clip, like, Lin missing... missing the Thieves Town. Because I would say, you L see Lin that at this someone point, gives you clips. Lin at this point is in full out, clearly just re-watching his VOD. Oh, yeah. yeah, please do not clip his channel. Like, you see on your dashboard that you got new clips during your broadcast, and then he might, like, see it. Yeah, so he... please clip this channel if you want to clip something. That's a good point. I didn't think about that at first. <sighs> He's checking my area first, it looks like. Or he thinks... He has GT marked on... Oh wait, no, that's Jedders' map. So he knows he hasn't been to GT... yet. Yep. Like, runners shouldn't be looking at their Twitch notifications, but that seems much more likely thing to accidentally do. Especially because rewatching your VOD is completely legal, and a yeah. thing many of us do if we do lose something. Now on to Thiefstown for Jedders. 
that newly acquired Bicky. That should be crystal number five, no four. Uh, the problem, of course, for Lin is that even if he finds the desert key, if the boots are required, uh, he will not know that Lanmo has the boots and will probably continue to do GT thing. And Lin taking a connector that he's not sure he's found the pair of yet, which I do not think will take him anywhere he needs to go. Uh. Unfortunately, as near as I can see, nothing he runs into is just going to accidentally take him where he needs to go. Yeah, Village of Outcast is just completely empty. It's just the desert right side in there. In terms of stuff that you want to revisit and keep on your tracker. Hey, Residador, if you could hook to checkerboard, it would be good to know, wouldn't it? So I think he may just be rote rechecking entrances at this point. Yep. With the highest concentration of entrances. He's just trying to brute force it. Though I think we're getting very close to the point where it's just not going to matter, even if he does remember. Yeah. Like, Lin had a, had a lead in terms of dungeons he's cleared, but Jadis is rapidly catching up. See, and the worst part is Lin knows it's GT that he's missing, too. Yeah. Or something that leads to GT, in this case, the book. Yeah, Lin is uh, a significantly higher seed than Jedders. Yeah, Jedders is pretty new to this mode as far as I know, but he's learning quickly. Like, he's a good link to the past player, so... Yeah, yep. it happens. It happens to oh, so this is super everyone. Unfortunate. And it's a thing that you get used to dealing with. Uh, we don't have the seat numbers in front of us. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching looking, on a different page. Yeah, we're watching a different page. I'm actually loading the mainstream, but I'm on commercial, so I can't see yet. <laughs> uh, right. Lin is 27 and Jedders is 80. Uh, you're cor technically correct, Sub. Oh, as Lin is now heading to Village of Outcast. Oh. Might have found his mistake. No. No, no, down. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's going down he's left. He's going right left. first. Left. Oh, uh, no. This is desert again. That's what I meant. That's the only entrance in here that matters. And he's just walking too far up to notice the Thief's on entrance. Oh, this just hurts to watch. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jada's taking out blind. Will get his fourth crystal. I believe now is it complete crystal parity with Lin. Uh, Lin still has done Maya over him. Oh, that's true. But that's about the only thing. And pot which yield anything but a sword uh all right he's gonna double check the medallion on turtle rock now i think yeah probably see if he can get in there that was his chance too unfortunately like he just needed to jump down as he was going he should have been able to see it yeah if he goes down and right instead of right and down he might have seen it Yeah, both canes, the hammer, and swords work against blind. Pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Lin realizing he can't do really anything over there. Not the mirror. Say so he might check this just cause, but it's still a red boomerang. Yep. 
He did not misread the hint. And meanwhile, Jedus on his way to Vidi has checked the big chest. So, n no mirror hurts, but he actually hasn't been inconvenienced. Well, he's been inconvenienced, but he hasn't been hurt by the lack of the mirror. Yeah. It's Rather just he's, he can't get the items he needs. Yeah. The, the keys. <laughs> and yeah, that silly Eastern key is still a question. Uh, at that this might point, just be boots locked. It might just be in Hera, and if it's not just in Hera. Yeah, that's true. At the same time, there's like no reason at all for him to go into British of Outcast, so. Uh. Got a hint for it. That purple chest and no entrance and uh, entrances in there that are relevant. So ah, this always just hurts to see happen to Rana. Uh, yes, the door next to the race game does require the mirror. I don't actually know if we've seen that checked yet, have we? Which one? The uh, left side of race game. Uh, I don't believe so. Jadis wasn't on it yet. Oh, looks like he's marked it on his tracker. Oh, probably just junk. Yeah, this is the uh, one that hurts him a lot. Obviously. And now he's just rechecking CAC. Maybe if he goes into the Dark World after? Oh god, this is as frustrating as it gets for a runner. Oh, so he's checking his Dark Map again on stream, but doesn't see any unvisited spots. So is we're now completely even, and uh, Jedders is going to pull ahead here on the Hera Crystal. Yep. Over to the exit that takes him to East of Mountain, and just a quick Hera Herb. And I think if we find Eastern in here, that will be Lin's final death knell. Yeah. Like, there's already a very low chance of Lin somehow making back if this Eastern key is God knows where. Yeah. But I can't think of a way for Jedis to miss it. Left one, Jedis. Left one. Like, say, if the, the big key, the, the Eastern big key was in the Hera basement, that's like the only advantage that Lin has over Jedis, and I don't even remember where that key came from. It's not in the basement. He but yeah, we, we saw the basement from Lin, so I can't think of anything that might save Lin. Oops. Jedha's taking a fall. Yeah. Uh, ba basically, I think Lin's path to life at this point is... He quickly realizes his mistake, ends up in GT, doesn't climb, and goes straight to whatever entrance ends up being required. Yeah. Which is a long laundry list here of things he needs. Uh, Pyramid is already dead. Yeah, that got hinted for us. Thank you for the Tower of Hera compass. Oh, Mimic Cave leads to That's a chest. That's a spot we have not seen. Yep, that is still open. That is uh, good info uh, for Jedders. That being said, has Jedders... I don't think he's found the connector there. I don't there. think he's found that connector. I think he never went out of Desert Front. Did he? I don't see it on his tracker, but he's on the Light World at the moment. I'll say it's hard to tell on his tracker. Where is Lin going? Seven. That's uh, not... White where we need Hugo to go. 
checking Mini Moldorm. I don't remember anything there. But I just have it marked down on my tracker at this point. It was some form of loot cave, yeah. Yep. It was two big keys, but it was still oh, yeah. GT. As Jedders is hammering down the tail of the big worm. Uh, Freddy Link can't get to GT. He doesn't have the book. And unfortunately, he has mismarked the entrance. Why is it always an important entrance you mismark? And not just some garbage. Uh, probably because you don't notice when you mismark a garbage entrance. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> we notice if they would mismark. That's what I mean. Like, obviously, you don't notice yourself. You only notice the yourself. The mirror's in point. GT, Freddy. Yep. No so way to get in there. hard required. No way at all for him. Uh, have they actually checked that entrance in the middle of Hyrule Castle? Uh, yeah, someone went in there. It was garbage. Okay. I think Jadis went in there because he had a Master Sword at that point. Uh, the mirror has unlocked nothing. However, uh, the book is in Blind's Hut, which is sitting inside of Thieves' Town. Okay, he's he's just looking to try dark rooms. Lin still has a bit of time, it seems, since Stratos still has a few like mirror spots and whatnot left open, like a few. Yeah, but like, Lin is yeah, gonna need to basically go straight to three at this point. Herod Big K Big K is in GT and Mirror is in GT, as is the Desert Palace small key. All on the right side of GT. Race game was just trash. Yeah, yeah. 300 bucks. Jetters may not realize he has a path to. Oh, when he throws the bomb early. <laughs> and mirror bomb. Right right ah, uh, yeah, that's the right flute spot, Lynn. I would say at this point, oh, I think we're 100% buddy. sure that the Eastern Big Key is either mirror locked or boots locked. Yeah, very confident. I don't think we've seen Super Bunny either end of it, right? Trust your instincts, Lin. Go to that three. <laughs> You're hovering it. All right, all right. N not just in the dark now world. Go to dark world. Exactly this spot. Everybody, we're we're Goku giving the spirit bomb here. Hey, pot key. Woohoo! And Super Bunny is not it. All right, all right, he's going, he's going. Come on. No, don't stop, don't stop. He might actually be rechecking his VOD for when he goes to Village of Outcast. Oh, that's where, where it does it, right? <laughs> the end of Super Bunny. Looks like Jadis is a bit lost as well. Does he not realize he has boots checks? Uh, he might. I don't think he realizes he has access to... Alright. Lint. No. 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 I'm not no. Scalpers. Down! Alright, as Jedders is uh, oh, checking might... spots now, it looks like. He going back for Agate Tower? No. Why would he? This was sick. Oh, I don't think he turned in sick kid ever, did he? I don't think so. Lint it, but yeah. Alright. Uh, the Ganon drop down is in Lost Woods, I believe. Okay, good. Uh, stay, stay this course, Lin. Keep heading this way. I have not mark Ganon. But yeah, I think it's in Lost Woods. I'm pretty sure it's in Lost Woods. Let me actually check. Yeah, it's in Lost Woods. Yeah, I didn't mark it for some no, reason. No, no! Down! Down, Lin. Oh, there's the right side to Turtle Rock. And, and it has is. Easter Mickey. Well, that's a GG. So, boots? Yeah, the Turtle Rock wasn't really needed. 
like going through it. Nope. Just Not in any way other than getting the keys at the front. Just the right side key and the front keys. Uh, Lin will be eliminated from the tournament uh, at this point if he can't produce a miracle here. <laughs> Which is honestly pretty surprising. Lin has been picking up, like, has been basically just doing this mode. Lin's, Lin's a good runner in this months. mode. This is, this is a tough break for him. Yeah, just misplacing an entrance is really tough. Like, it, if he didn't misplace that, it would have been hard to tell who might win. Since they were so divergent and Jeddah did a lot of stuff that wasn't actually needed. But yeah, with this it's just... It's just unfortunate. And sadly this can happen to pretty much any runner. Like, no matter how good you are in this mode, it's just... Yeah, Jettas will probably have to do Master Sword Ganon, but that's not really a problem for him. He has Silver, so it's not even that bad. That's crystal number six for Jettas. No. Gan Ganon will uh, no longer call us a dingus. Uh, I mean, he'll call you a dingus because you don't know math. I mean, true. That's crystal number seven for Jettas. I said seven, didn't I? Didn't you say six? Or am I, I crazy? I said seven. At least I Chat, meant seven. please the resolve this. The, the last one. I said six. Huzzah! Okay. I'll blame it on the six hours of commentary again. Don't hamster plis me! Sign up for commentary, you lazy fox! I did! <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? I'm talking to Chad! Making me do double shifts Is here. Is Hamster the most frequent cursor on ZSR? Probably. He had that. He had a uh, an infamous scene with the boomerang. <laughs> Still number two clip, I believe. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if people are interested in commentating these races, do we get paid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Let me laugh harder. Uh, <laughs> Nah, this is all for fun and giggles. <laughs> Shadow has the clip on hand. <laughs> that us? Yeah, that's the right potion. Or a dad. He should be through with phase two now. Ah, oh, not oh, quite. Another cycle. I mean, as we usually joke about this, but he could actually die to Ganon like yep. about 15 times. He, and he, he, <laughs> he has a lot of give before he loses, before he falls behind. He doesn't realize it, but he has about infinity time, right? Oh, and there's the drop. <laughs> the knockback uh, into the bag. He has a fairy, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he has. Which is probably why he played so risky. And he still has a green goo for... 
Uh, but in all seriousness, is... if you are interested in commentating, uh, in the tournament Discord, there you can ask for the commentator role and sign up. Yep. As long as you roughly know how this mode goes, pretty much welcome. Yeah, good thing he has that green potion. <laughs> Agreed, Rezzy. Agreed. Yeah, he has a green one. So, with half magic, like, he's more than fine for the last few spins. So, worst case... He's probably a solid hour before Lin's in range to finish. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> hard to tell if Lin would even finish, like uh, if he would ever find it. I mean, I assume he would finish at some point, but is likely to forfeit once. Yeah. Not and done down the peak goes. Get your GG's in the chat. And an immediate forfeit from Lin, understandably. Yup. He's probably a bit frustrated about this. Yeah, probably more than a bit, yeah. I just typed exclamation point discord. GG, I guess then. GG, congrats to uh, Jedders, who is going to advance. Uh, let me quickly see who his opponent is going to be in the next round, if we even know. Uh, it looks like Jedders is about to come in. With the most frustrating, <laughs> he is the most frustrating Discord avatar. Uh, speaking of which, GG Jetters. Hello. GGs. GGs. So uh, that was a little bit of a, an adventure there at the end. Yeah, um, I was very nervous because I have no idea where Easter could, Big Key could have been, and uh, I. Stumbled upon it early, because that could have been a long ride. Yeah, uh, you had a lot more time than you probably thought you did, though. Uh, poor Lin marked himself as having, having visited the Thieves' Town entrance and never went there. And therefore did not have his book and did not could not get into GT with the mirror hardlocked behind the book. Uh... And so has, for the last, I'd say, 45 minutes to an hour, been going around rechecking stuff and never managed to go there. Yeah, it's always bad when that happens. Nope. I, uh, I lost my first match because I mismarked the back of Desert, so I know the feels. Yeah, I think it happens to, or can happen to pretty much any runner. Ugh, yeah. it's just unfortunate. Yeah, and I know, like, Lin's been practicing a lot and is really good at this mode, and so probably doesn't feel great about what happened. But I mean, like, still, this is a very reasonable time for you in this scene. Uh, <laughs> so you went for the crowd-pleasing strats. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> what was with that, uh, or what, what made you decide, you know what, I don't have a bow, but I'm going straight up this tower. Well, you know, um, I thought about it, and I was like, well, I know Lynn's good, and in my position, sometimes I gotta make gambles to get to pull out that W, so I was going to bet, because I don't imagine many people would want to climb GT in that circumstance, 
Um, so I decided that I would do it. And aside from that, it would let me route over to the pyramid area afterwards. Because I hadn't yeah. been there yet. Also, that's a very valid reason to head to, uh, or a very valid reason to do Aga 2, is to yeah. go in there. And considering how fast you are at the Mimic Clips, like, it's not like you're sitting there two minutes trying to clip them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how did you uh, feel overall about the seed? Very generous to start off with. There's a lot of free items, and then it was just like, most of the seed was really finding keys, because... The only thing that really gave me any sort of trouble was the bow, but I never really had to look for it. I just kind of stumbled across it nice. Yeah. I think at one point you were basically an item go mode, but were missing four keys or something? Yeah. Yeah, I would say this felt like a very uh, item generous, but very much not key generous scene. Uh, yeah. And I know I was very interested to see if that was going to end up being a required climb. Uh, obviously, logically would have been, uh, but I think actually would have been a hard required climb up Ganon's Tower if Todorak had been a crystal. Unfortunately, no such luck in that case. Yeah, or um, if there was some crazy stuff on Magic Bat. But, uh... Yeah, no such luck. I was I didn't even actually know that that was Magic Bat. I was like, all right, I've got three drop downs I haven't checked yet, and one of them, or two of them are going to be an item, so I'll just jump in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was I was very intrigued to see what Magic Bat was going to pull out, and then it was, of course, just a nickel, and nobody felt any good about it. <laughs> yeah, that feels bad. It's not even, uh, you know, not even saying card or a big 300. No, just, just five. Uh, though, the Bugnet Aga 2 was undeniably cool. I will give <laughs> you that. Yeah, I was, I was looking at my equipment, I'm like, eh, I've done it before for, for the memes, so why not? So one thing I am kind of curious about, uh, you had a lot of crystals open to you really early, and you kind of avoided going to the dungeons and instead went for a lot of kind of ancillary location checks. Uh, is that kind of just what you tend to do, or is there a particular reason you stayed away from, like, finishing Skull Woods, or, uh, I mean, obviously you did ice once you had it, but well, it felt like you pushed away from those for a while. Um, so Skull Woods, I didn't have a small key, and I routed... Uh, Skullwoods very late, so I didn't get that small key till very late. And uh, I did east as much of Eastern as I could. Like, really, because Meyer only had two items left, and Thieves Town, I didn't find a big key till late. So, I mean, really, like, all those crystals, I kind of tapped them out, and I was trying to save... Like, I wasn't going to go back for just, like, one of them. Um, I was trying to see if I could find... Uh, more big keys elsewhere because um, I was still missing mini Moldorm Cave, so um, I was kind of looking for that, and then I was still just, you know, trying to find those big keys so that I can knock it, everything out all at once because I didn't have very many checks left in the crystals. Not to mention, I think. Once I did desert is when I found out where all the crystals were. <laughs> yeah, you, you went right for a pendant right away, but uh, that was, in fact, I believe the only pendant boss you were required to kill. Lin killed uh, Helmosaur, and he dropped nothing, I think. Yeah. Flamo had the boots for you, obviously. Yeah. Um. So, looking forward, you have the winner of Sl Slim Kirby and Gwai Label coming up in the next match. Uh, how do you feel going? How do you feel about it? Well, I mean, every match in this tournament is, uh, you know, just more, you know, fun for me, really. Um, 
I like I can't look at you know anybody in particular me being the idiot C really like you know it's it you know it doesn't matter if it's number one C or number seventy nine to me like it's just I just got to take one match at a time and just do my best. Yeah, great. I think that's a great attitude, um, and especially because like there have been some really crazy upsets already this tournament. Um, with Ferraime and Bonta, although Bonta may be not as much of an upset, uh, but both having already fallen down to the loser's bracket. Uh, and so we're, we're kind of starting to see that, especially as a lot of the people who are kind of... Because I think you started this mode basically for the tournament, right? Mostly, yeah. Because I think you did mostly uh, overworld stuff before then, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, that and open standard stuff. Um, but I know certainly, like, as people have gotten more practice in this mode, a lot of the sort of lower seats have gotten legitimately scary to face. Um, and so I'm super interested in seeing how this bracket evolves out. Yeah, it's, this mode is, it, it can be, it can be unforgiving sometimes, and sometimes it, this is probably the biggest, you know, luck is the biggest factor in this mode in particular, because... You can go down a rabbit hole, and it can, you could drop a lot of time into some dungeon or some chain of entrances, and it could just pay out nothing at all, and someone else could pick the right path and get some stuff, you know? Yeah, this is definitely a mode where you can just, I, I just kind of call it get randoed, because sometimes it just happens. Uh, I guess it's just about sort of keeping your head up and taking your lumps when they happen. Yeah. Uh, so I want to hand it over to Trez so he can say what we still have coming up today if we do have any more uh, do you have any sort of last thoughts on the seed or Hamza do you have anything that you want to say no just good luck going forward Jadis yeah and yeah I just I, you know you hate to win like me because someone forgot an entrance but you know I feel sorry for Lynn because I've been there so yeah, and I mean, I know it It was very nice, I saw, to see our chat sort of going along trying to uh, give Lin our spirit bomb energy, so to speak, when he was, every time he got closer and closer to Thieves Town and then eventually went away. Um, and so I thought it was, and I mean, I think, I'm sure Lin would appreciate hearing you say that too, um, if he were watching this and not just sitting there upset, which I suspect he is right now. Um and very understandably so. Um, Trez, do we have any more stuff coming up today that uh, you want to mention? Sure. All right. So um, we still have three open matches uh, for the Link to the Past randomizer Cross World Key Sending Tournament, tournament uh, all around 8.30 to 9 p.m. Eastern. So in about two hours. Um, that's Mets 7898 with a Link a lot, Dante with a PLD Wong, and P Train with a Master Slowpoke. Uh, we will not restream all three of them. We will restream, if possible, if we find volunteers to commentate, one, or maybe if we can, two. Um, that's what's going to happen there. Um, besides that, from the looks of it, at 2 a.m. UTC, so in three hours. We'll have a showcase race of the new Zelda game of Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but that seems to be the plan, at least right now. It's a little short, so, uh, short term plan right here. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, we'll update the channels as we figure them out. Uh, and add them to the schedule Until then I want to give a big shout out to the volunteers for tonight's race to hamster and to Alice Also to our trackers to Siberian and to each master. I hope you all enjoyed it and um, Yeah, we're gonna be back later. Don't miss it. And yeah, uh, like we said guys uh, If you're interested in seeing more of these if you're interested in commentating or tracking uh, we're always looking for more volunteers we're trying to cover as many of these races in the tournament as we can, but we have a pretty stretched pool right now. Uh, so if you have any interest, feel free to uh, hit the Discord and uh, come in and say hi and see if you can find a time where you'd be interested. 
Exactly. Alright everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope we will be back later. We will be for sure. Catch you later. Thank you everybody.